and that have achieved more than any other institution in the new dispensation. They achieved more because it was an institution that was dumped, left out. When we came, the first thing we did was to make sure that we allow them to employ more professionals, reform the institution, train more people, get more qualified people in, into the GTA, uh, into the National Center for Arts and Culture. And it paid dividends, absolutely it paid dividends. And government wasted no time also in revisiting their wages and the budgetary allocation of the NCTs that gave them the capacity to be able to deliver on what they are delivering now. We also believe as a policy, culture center tourism, it was important to develop our heritage sites. Today we have developed almost most of them. We still have few that are left, and I'm sure Mongo Park, Mr. Sise, is left. Although the Minister of Finance and Minister have asked that we submit the request and he will give the money left for the completion of Mongo Park. The Kerbat is completed, not inaugurated yet. Wasu is completed. Um, uh, um, uh, Mongo Park is on, and we are now working with other heritage sites to make sure that they develop them and to get us the type of problem that we want. Are you aware that we organized the bicentenary? in January, celebrating 200 years. And that has now given us the opportunity to have a festival, national festival, every year in this country, so that Gambians can showcase their talents. Uh, and then we display our culture for the world to see beyond what they have seen. And uh, we have allo allo allocated them the land, and uh, we are now trying to see how we can repurpose the World Bank loan, 68 million, to accommodate some of the things that were very important to this industry, particularly in national theater. We've realized that most of our artists are subject to be borrowing, uh, sorry, renting very expensively, places where they are not even allowed to sell drinks. So we want to put an end to that, to give them the opportunity to be in a modern national theater that they can display their talents and make money. And then, of course, you are all aware we've been represented internationally, showcasing Gambian culture and Gambian tradition all over. When we come to read that, we should be able to also uh, in, tell you how much of that we have done. Now, the other one is our efforts, what was invested by everybody in convincing the World Bank to invest in the gap, to support the Gambian tourism sector with a grant of $68 million, which we never miss. And that, that project has started under the leadership of Mr. Sise, Mr. Sise. Uh, he is not with us today because he has some issues, but I'm sure you'll be seeing them. And as often as possible, the minister will be updating you on some of the activities of this project. Now I will give some of the sectors to come and read some of the achievements they themselves that they have prepared so that you can listen from them and then we can proceed on the other issues that I want to come and deal with. If you so allow, uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, we can allow them just to give a signature of what they have presented they themselves. We will not be reading the entire text, whatever, just the few words that we need to project. Now, I want to introduce you somebody that we believe will do more than what we did and will move on from where we are. And that is Mr. Abu Job, the now Minister of Tourism, Arts and Culture. Mr. Job, as you know, he's well exposed. He's traveled all over the world. And I'm um, sure so with a very solid team we are leaving behind, Mr. Job will move on from the foundation to higher heights and get more achievement for our tourism sector. Mr. Job, we congratulate you and welcome you. <laughs> and uh, we must admit that Gambia was very high and living high internationally. And uh, 